this X just gives you an idea of where you want that clasp to be. So I'll mark right in the center of that X so I know where to put the clasp, whatever clasps I'm using. So for this clasp, I just press it down real hard to make an impression so I can cut that hole out for that. And sometimes if the leather's thinner, you might need a secondary piece just to put behind that. Then I'll just mark it with a pen where I want to cut this out. Since I want the flesh sides showing there, I'll scuff this side up so I can glue it down and it'll hold a little better. And this glue, most glues, you want to let them dry almost all the way, get real tacky. You got glue on your fingers, be careful you're not touching other sections of this. Okay, let that tack up. So this is a piece over the top here. And I did scratch the back of this a little bit. And I'll add some glue in there and then put them little screws through. So that's that center mark for this side. And if you're using something with prongs like this, you're going to want to make sure you kind of bend them a little bit so they're coming straight out here. Get it centered. And I like to use a small hole punch on each side of where that prong is going to go. That way it's less likely to rip, probably not a huge deal, but and check and make sure that width is going to be right. And I have a mark there. It's good to just check and make sure you're coming straight across. And I'll make a slit. Is make it bigger, but if you go too big, nothing you can do about it at that point. Try to get that bend as close as I can. You can give it a couple little taps. You just gotta be careful. If you're tapping it hard, you're gonna damage this. So the other thing I like to do is put a little extra glue. It just fills in all those little gaps and things. And I'll glue this on the back. And I might cut a bigger piece. I don't think that's quite big enough. I'd rather it be a little too big, if anything. See, I like to get extra glue underneath there. Just fills in those gaps.
a couple rows of stitches like this one. It'll be marked on the pattern so you can choose whether or not to do it. They'll just be decorative. I kind of like having the opening to pockets and stuff with the decorative stitching. Just keeps that from stretching out too much. I think it might keep it keep the shape a little bit better. I'll just go around to this corner and start that gusset here in a minute. Now you could just come and stop. I have enough thread to keep going, so I just tied a little knot since this is going to be looser. And you do want to go pretty tight for the gusset to hold that on. I came up through the hole like that, and I'm going to go over the end here just to hold those two parts together really well. I think I'll go over it twice. That just really will help. Help with the aesthetics as well keeps those edges together nice and clean and just continue down I like to put this front panel on first and then sew the gusset to the main section of the bag after that and like I said make sure you're pulling the stitches across the gusset tighter I like to just lay this down the panel facing down the gusset on top so it can kind of lay in that bend makes it a little bit easier and you do want to pull the stitches a little bit tighter on the gusset if you didn't mark that hole you can grab the pattern. It's good to save those pattern pieces after you cut them out just in case you forget stuff like that. But mark that hole and that's where you're going to be starting on with the top of that corner. But if you did the decorative stitches across this section, just start on that corner, get to here, and then start sewing it to that. And then you're going to come up through that last hole. But then when you go back through with this needle is when you're going to start going through both layers here. it on both sides we can put this front flap on and from here to here these stitches can be decorative you can just start on the corner there but I'll be starting on this corner here so just start on the corner here and I'll go to there and then that's when this will start to be stitched to the bag. We don't want to stitch it to the bag across here. Since we're starting right on that corner is where this flap is going to start being sewn to the back panel here. Instead of coming up from the back first, we're going to go through the top and have both of these coming back. We only want that very first corner hole. And now, this one will come up. Right on that corner hole. And then now we'll just continue on sewing the same as we were. Finish sewing around that whole edge and then we'll come across this one. When I'm done sewing, 
I like to kind of suggest this fold and squeeze that down, not all the way around, but just the first few inches here. That way, it just kind of naturally, when you close it, looks a little better. You might want to put just a little bit of water on that bend so it's a little bit easier. Just get those three rivets in there. 